All right, welcome. This is the uh, the day one weigh-in of the crank around of the Daiwa Brim series here on the Derwent River. It is a venue that we love to come to because the weights are so heavy and because Steve Steer from Cranker gets to work the bump tub for us. You can't see him on the camera now, but he is back there checking the fish are the minimum legal size of 26 to the tip in this tournament. Now, it's a bit of a weird for the people on site here. You can't hear us because we can't amplify the music because there's a bride inside having their wedding reception. But uh, regardless, uh, we are going to get this uh, weigh-in underway. All of the people uh, on watching the live stream can see us, uh, see what's happening. You can see the results up and down the side. Remember, the boaters fishing for their biggest five fish, the non-boaters for their biggest three fish. Let's get the first angler up. Butch Krushka. Andrew Krushka was fishing with me today. And he caught a massive string of little fish. It was just, you never got a big bite today, mate. I don't know what was going on for you. No, I was just getting rid of the little ones for you. You cleaned them out of the worry for me like a champion, mate. A couple of just 30 centimetre class fish there. That's about exactly what they were going to go. 1.98 kilos for you there, mate. I had a great day fishing with you, mate. It was good. Now, to be a good boy and go get my fish for me, please. <laughs> Next angler up, we have uh, Andrew Breward. Next. Fishing in the non-boater division. Caught a few fish for us and some. Eight, don't let it drop all over the grass. Lost all the audio, huh? All right. Next angler, Pete Bruckel. Hey, Steve. Good, mate. Just I'll hold on to this. Tell us what happened today. That's a uh, that's a solid bag of fish. You, you might be over five kegs, but you're going to be close, I reckon. Yeah, it'd be close. It was a bit bit harder today than what I thought. So. It was a bit calm this morning, wasn't it? It was horrible. What do you mean horrible? It was beautiful. It, horrible for fishing. Calm. For, yeah, that's right. All right, let's get these on the scales for you, mate. They are a good bag of Derwent fish. Look at that. Oh, it might be five kilos. How about 5.42 for you there, mate? Well done. Cheers, mate. Pete Bruckel now taking the lead in this event. Bring him up, Leighton Beer, next man to weigh in. Yep, tipple that water in that tub there, mate. Thank you very much. See if you can avoid all the kids playing on the grass here. And uh, three fish, you got three decent ones there, mate. You need around 2.3 kilos. Two not so good. but throw yeah, Three big ones like that, you'd be sweet. Yeah, it'd be nice. But throwing on the flats, a little riggy 56, so it was still good fun. There you go. You're pretty close to the lead there. Three for 2.23 kegs. And you and I are going fishing tomorrow, mate, so I look forward to that. Sounds good. Thanks. Mate. Good stuff. All right, Pete Bruckel leading with 5.42 kilos, closely followed by Wally Fay with 4.33 and Scott Holloway in third with 3.02. On the non-boater side, Andrew Krushka, 1.98, Leighton Beer, 2.23 and Andrew Breward, 2.29.
Bring them up, Butch. These are my fish. Oh. If you watched my Tackle Friday's video last night, the plan was to fish up the river and catch a limit and then to come down the river and upgrade all those fish, and that's exactly what we did today. Thanks, Butch. You're my waymaster, mate. You put them in. You're the, you're the boss here. What do you reckon they're going to go? Oh, 4.9. Four and three quarters, four, seven, four. Thank you, sir. What do you want to do? Come back go, and let him go. No, just let him go. We're all good. Four, seven, four. That's good enough for third place. Next angler up, Mark Lennox. Jeez, Mark, uh, Uncle Wally did well again today, mate. What are you doing? Are you looking after him? Are you keeping him on the straight and narrow or what? He was too needy up the front today. He didn't leave me much. Jesus. <laughs> One to, well, I know who did who caught them all at the Hue in then, hey? Yeah, that's right. Wasn't him. Uh, you got three nice ones there, mate. You need 229 to take the lead. You got 276. You're now leading the non boaters. Well done. Do you want to weigh your kilo fish? Throw her in this thing. All the, all the non boaters who weigh a kilo fish get an X braid prize pack. They'll look like about 900, mate. Yeah, probably not. Not going to make. 890. There you go, mate. Just catch bigger ones. Just catch bigger ones. It'll happen. All right, next angler up. Mr. Moore, all the way from Goulburn. Loves Tassie. The weather's so good, he's not even wearing shoes today. How good's, how good's it doing? Mate, it's fantastic, except for the afternoon when it blows up, you get a bit wet. Yeah, that always happens every day, mate. You've got one, two, three, four, five there, and on the mainland, this would be a cracking bag. But in the Derwent? 408, probably get you midfield. Perfect, mate. There you go. Well done. For. Good. Yeah. All right. Is this Blake or is this Hosko coming up? Glenn Hoskin. Fishing the non boater division, so he's looking for three fish. How many you got for us there? Hosko's got us three. You need. 276 you need to take the lead there and they mightn't be big enough to do that but uh, how good's it doing oh it's awesome awesome had a great day 2.22 all the twos for you there mate well done Thanks, see only took me two tournaments to remember your name blake little o on the non-boaters as well what do you reckon you got how many kilos uh, hopefully two Hopefully too, yeah. The little one there is going to be a bit of a bit of a burden. You didn't get your wish, mate. One nine nine. That's right. There you go, mate. What was the best lure for you today? Uh, the rip, zip bait riggy. The riggy, the little jerk bait. It's good stuff. All right, tip the water in there, Robbie. Providore of great brownies and Rocky Road. And he's got a uh, got a bag of five for me here, mate. This is you like this place more than St Helens, don't you? I certainly do. <laughs> What was your gun bait today? Um, Lucky Crab, Flash Minnow. Nice. The Flash Minnow has got you 3.47 kilos of brim there, mate. Well done. Beautiful, Good mate. On, Thank you. Awesome. And quickly updating, we've got uh, in the boaters, Scott Holloway in fifth, Andy Moore fourth, Steve Morgan third, Wally Fay second, and Pete Bruegel leading with 5.42 in first. In the non-boaters, Blake Littlows in fifth, Glenn Hoskin fourth, Leighton Beer third, Andrew Bruard second, and Mark Lennox is leading in first. All right, we're just waiting for a few uh, for the bump tubs to fill up again. For the people on site, it's going to be a bit weird that we're not allowed to use any PA because there's a wedding happening upstairs here at the Bell Reef Yacht Club. But everyone in online land can hear what's going on. No worries at all. See Al Lavelle hitting the bub tubs there. Whenever you're ready, Al, bring her up, mate. Al Lavelle's done all of the kayak events. And all of the uh, the boating events here, so he's had a pretty busy trip to Tassie. And mate, uh, you'd be upset. You've only got one more day of tournament fishing in Tassie. Yeah, you're not wrong. I don't know where it's all gone. It's coming to a halt. Yeah. Wait another two years, mate. We'll come and do it again. Three small ones for you today. You reckon they're gonna crack two kegs? No, no way. How about one point five two for you there? Well done. Thanks, Luke. Good on you. Just a reminder, the non-boaters fishing for their biggest three fish per day and the uh, the boaters fishing for their biggest five.
Just waiting for the uh, for the bump tubs to fill up. All right, we, uh, if you're watching and you're in Hobart and you want to come down and see what's going on, we're at the Bell Reeve Yacht Club. We're at 4 o'clock each day on uh, Saturday and Sunday. You can see all the boats in the harbour, have a beer at the bar, watch the weigh-in. Tomorrow, the crowd's going to be able to hear what we say as well. So we use a PA system. The bump tubs are filling up here again now. I've got uh, Billy Bland from WA. Tip the water out in the tub there, Billy. Tip the water out before you come in. Billy Bland from WA. He was leading the uh, event at St. Helens. And he has another... How many you got for us there, Bill? Two. So it's fair to say that you peaked on day one at St. Helens. It's been going downhill since. Yep, that's correct. All right, two derwent fish for you there, mate. We've got two fish that weigh 1.21 kilos for you. What was the best bait? What did that big one eat? Um, what was this wrong? Oh, Craig... Uh the, yeah, the, the Cranker Cranks. Cranker Crank. There you go. One of the little suspending minnows. Well done. All right. This is Dwayne Bird next, and he's tipping that water out like a good fella. You got three for us, Dwayne? You have three. All right. Dwayne's got three. Fished his first event at St. Helens. Ended up in the top ten. To mo the moment to make the top ten, you're going to need one gram, because we only weighed about six. Here we go. So you got 1.73 kilos, puts you into seventh at the moment, but we've got a lot to weigh in still. A lot to go. All right. Dave Shanahan. Yep, tip that water out, mate. Thank you. Dave Shanahan from Victoria. I seem to remember last time we were in Tassie, you did pretty well, mate. We had a win last time, but didn't go so good this time, but that's not a bad bag. Happy with those. Oh, yeah. Anyone to be happy with those fellas, mate? Just going to get rid of the rest of that water. You don't want to win with water, mate, do you? Uh, How about 2.89 kilos and you're in the lead anyway? Yeah, yeah. There you go, mate. Well done. All right. Greg Woods is going to weigh in next. Good to see. I think Greg's back on the program. you got three fish for us, haven't you, Woodsy? Yeah, learned He's learned how to count. I can hear the cruise ship blasting in the background there, mate. Just yeah. look, I'm just going to tip the rest of that water in there. Woodsy, now this is your biggest bag so far this trip, isn't it? Yep. 201 for you there, mate. Crack the two kilo mark for three fish. Well done. Who we got next? Mike Sutcliffe. He was leading on day one at St. Helens. Fell short on day two with only three fish. And Mike, have you got five for me today? Beauty. They're small ones. Well, tell us the story. Let me have a look, mate. I'm just going to tip, tip the rest of that water out first. No one wants the extra water, do they? Well, I could do with a bit. <laughs> um, what did the biggest fish in that limit eat today? Um, a hard body. A, a hard body. Yeah. 309 for you there, mate. Solid yeah. Gold Coast bag. <laughs> All right. John o. Fitzgibbon next to weigh in. Where's John o from Goulburn? John has got three fish for us there, mate. You've been a bit of an achiever over the last couple of weeks. Ever since you learned how to fish those cranker crabs, you've been pretty dangerous, and you've got three nice ones there. You need 289 to take the lead in the non-boaters. We have a new leader, 3.16 kilos, mate. Well done. Yeah, and you've got a big kilo brim this year, haven't you? What's the biggest brim? Uh, big, we haven't weighed a big brim yet, so if you want to throw one in. Throw one in. Just pick a big one. Yeah. This is for the Maui Jim big brim. It'll be somewhere over a kilo. 113. There you go. Back in there for you. Beautiful big Derwent brim. Go let him go and get your photos taken. So 113, the big brim mark, big brim mark is now. Pete Glowacki next to weigh in. Looks like you got five for us there, Pete. Beauty. You're on the program now, mate. Three good ones too, mate. You have got some corkers in there and you got some baby ones. You got the whole family. Yeah, it took out the whole lot. Nice, you got five fish there. And even with two small ones in there, you got 3.92 kilos, mate. Have you got one bigger than 1.13 kilos? You can throw them in for Big Brim if you like. Pull the biggest one out, throw them in. Throw that one. Let's try this one. I think they're both a bit small, but let's just try it. Yeah, 800 grams. It's right, mate. I don't think you got it there. Catch a bigger one tomorrow.
All right, next up. Ray Cooper. Raymond without the D. How many you got for us? Three. Oh, he's back in form, yeah, mate. Back in form. After, after your swim at St. Helens, you got oh, one, two, three. But right, yeah. they're, they're not the biggest brim of the oh, Derwent's ever seen, are they? You're right. No, no I only had three brim bites all day. Well, you converted all of them, mate. They're 1.49 kilos. Yeah, Good Thank on you, mate. You. Well done. All right, Shane Hibbard is going to next in. Yep, tip that water out, Shane, eh? Oh, this is your non-boaters bag, is it? Oh, if you were a non-boater, you'd be well. But this is your bag. Sorry? This is your bag of fish, though. Give us a look at them. Just wait. One, two. One, Make sure two. all the water's tipped out. Yeah. Two fish, mate. What happened today? Wheels fell off a bit. Wouldn't like to say. All right. 1.6 kilos for you. Good thing is you're in the top 10 because they only weighed nine people. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Next up. Mitch Blomquist from Victoria has caught the spirit of Tasmania across. And he was a bit disappointed day one at St Helens, but day two it got better and it's got better here again, mate. You reckon you got five kegs for us? I don't know. I think it'll be just under, but we'll see. All right. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do it. River Corkers. Nice dark fish from up the river somewhere. How about 4.57 for you there, mate? Good start. Thanks, Morgo. That puts you in fourth place. Okay. This is Australia's answer to Rick Clun. He's growing his beard out. And Brett Crow, the saying is, is the rocks or diamonds day? Rocks. Rocks day, all right. Three fish for you. They're the right size. There's just not enough of them, mate. You've got one, two, three, and they're going to go 2.32 kilos for you, there, mate. It's all about the non-boater. That's it. Oh, did you non-boater smack them? Good. All right. Let's get Mark Hayes up. Hazy is a fine exponent of jerk baiting. What's going on today, mate? Did, you didn't have Jesse in the back coaching you? What, hap what happened? I don't know. Everything went wrong. All right. Reels blew up. Wind knots. Did you do some um, downgrading because they're only three just legals? Yeah, that's right. Did you get Mars to give you a pep talk tonight, mate? I'm going to have to get it. 1.29 for three there, mate. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Steve. All right. Speaking of Uncle Mars, here he is. He's had two second places this year, and I'm expecting nothing less than five kilos from him today. we got thumbs up day. He's got a big smile on his face. It'll go close, just under, I reckon, but, geez, I'm happy. It this is a joint that's awesome to fish, isn't it? Oh, mate, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. Was, did you find it easier yesterday? Yeah, it was harder today, and it'll be harder tomorrow as well. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy anyway. I reckon you've got, uh, you got a circa five kilo bag there, mate. They keep you right the hunt. 4.75 kilos, which is 10 grams ahead of that bloke. That's, what? that's me. I stay ahead of you. Yeah, that's right, mate. <laughs> I'll give you 10 gram head start for tomorrow. Good on you, Murray. It puts you into fifth, no, third place at the moment. Okay, let's get up. Who's that, Christian Wardini? Drain the water out there, Christian. Drain the water out properly and bring him up. Yeah, you're at the start of the line. Drain the water in the tub, please. Five fish for you, Christian. Is this the first time you've come to Tassie as a boater? First time in Tassie. How good is this place? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Gonna tip out the water next tomorrow. Make sure you tip all that the tub out there. It's all good, mate. One, two, three, four, five in there for three point nine kegs. And if you do anything like you did at St Helens, you'll bring me five kegs tomorrow because you'll work this joint out even more. We'll see how we go. All right, mate. Well done, Christian. Five fish there. Johnny Albrecht next to weigh in. Three fish. One, two, three. Johnny, uh, three medium sized ones there. What was your favourite bait today? Oh, uh, it's just jerk bait. We love a good jerk bait bite, don't we, in Tassie? No, oh, it was good. Caught plenty of fish, just not the right calibre. Nice. One, two, three. Go 2.44. Put you in fourth place at the moment. Good on you, Johnny. Thanks, All right. Is this Ben Scott? Ben? Yeah. Ben Scott. Good stuff. Ben Cook, that's it. Yeah. It takes me three na three tournaments to remember names. And, mate, one fish for you there. You were yeah. four short. Have you got a plan to rectify this tomorrow? Um, probably look after myself a bit more than the non-boater. Because I okay. did him a few favours today. I think he did really well. So. All right, good stuff. We'll see how he goes. 590 grams of your one fish there. Well done, Ben. Thank you. All right. This is... 
Dwight, Dwayne, what is it? Damien. Damien Dwyer. Damien Dwyer. See, I knew there was a D and a W in there yeah. somewhere. You've got, you got Mama Bear, yeah. Papa Bear, and Baby Bear there. Yeah. Three fish for you. Yeah. One or oh, 2.19 kilos. Yeah. We'd nearly weigh that for Big Brim. I think she's going to be about one or 200 grams short, yeah, though. Oh, well, if you want to go for the let's X-Braid have Award, let's have, have a go. I it. reckon she's going to go close. Best one I've got. Beautiful. So this is for the X-Braid Kilo Pack and a bit short. No, no, it's close. 910 grams it went. Jeez. There you go. So there's a Thank you. Beautiful. Go let, get your photo taken. Let those fellas go. The non-boaters uh, once a year can weigh in a one kilo brim and get an X-Braid prize pack. Willie Thorpe. Bring him in, mate. He's the king of the hewing. Let's see if he's the prince of the Derwent or not. In the non-boater division, currently leading three fish for 3.16 kilos. Good bag. Good bag, mate. But you got three decent ones there. Mightn't go 3.16. What was your gun bait today? Uh, soft plastics. First up and then went to the duo Riala's 80 mils. Of course you do, because that's your bait, isn't it? You love that thing. 2.53 for you, which puts you in fourth place at the moment. Good on you, Willie. All right. Jared Stevens from WA. Tip all that water in there, mate. Thank you. He went from zero to hero at St Helens. Love that joint. Couldn't do a thing wrong. Is the form kept up to here? Is your form kept up from Got St Helens? Five. Got five? We've done better than St Helens day one. Yeah, nice. Now, you won here as an on the last time we were here. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yep. you got a good bag of fish there, mate. Well over four kegs, I reckon. Let's see where we go. No? I don't know. what. That's why the scales tell the story, mate. Right. What, what, what was your gun, gun bait today? Uh, jerk baits today. Everyone loves the jerk baits in this joint because they is great. Cool. Good on you, mate. mate. You. Well done. Come all the way from WA and borrowed a boat to fish. Michael Samet all the way from WA as well. Michael is a big event player. If it's a grand final, he's up there. Tassie event, up there. Three fish, you're going to be up there, mate. Uh, you need 316 to take the lead on the non boater side. You've got 2.86, which puts you in third place at the moment. Swooping position. Thanks, mate. Good on you. All right, Aaron Bonza. His claim to fame just snuck into the event at the last minute, mate. <laughs> and he's got three good fish for us there. That's uh, the doom. It was nice to you today. Yep, sure was. Um, that big one there, how big is that going to be? It's going to be over a kilo this time. Nice. I picked out the wrong fish at St. Helens. All right, well, you've done it this time, I reckon. So your three fish go 287, puts you in third place. Just knock Michael Summit down, grab out that big boy. And we'll get it. We'll get you an X sprayed uh, trophy brim pack. Must be this one. That one's this one. Blue nose. I don't know, mate. I don't think that one's going to be a kilo. No, nah, he's nine forty. Ah. Anyway, tomorrow you said you're going to catch another one tomorrow. Is it? No, no, they're all about the same size, and they're That's all about right. nine hundred grams. All good. Cheers. Good on you, Aaron. All right, Stephen Lampsakianos. Drain out that water in the tub there. Ah, in the tub, mate. In the tub. All right. Tomorrow, mate. Tip her in the tub tomorrow instead of draining on the grass. Oh, That's all good, mate. I'm trying to water it. They don't like the salt water. Mate, and you're back in form. you got five again for me. Got five again. I'm How good is this on. place? <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> all right, let's get on. Let's see if we get you well over four. What's your biggest ABT bag ever? Uh, probably 2.7. <laughs> Look at that, 4.23. Happy with that? <laughs> yep, very happy. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Well done. You Thank haven't got you. one that's over 1.2 kegs in there? Uh, maybe put, you, put it on, have a look. Throw him in. What's the big brim currently? It's uh, 113. Nah, that's only about a kilo. Nah, you haven't got big brim. It's all right. Just be happy with your 4 kilo plus yeah, bag. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Catch some bigger ones. Uh, thank Good you. On you mate. Thanks. All right, Steve Lamsakianos, all the way down from Sydney. Next up, Stacey Alexander. Smashed it in the kayaks, smashed it in the back of the boat, and you've got three more for me today. You are a fishing machine. What are they going to weigh? I don't know. You'd be good at three fish bags <laughs> by now after the kayaks. I don't know. I'm feeling, feeling okay. I reckon 2.8. Yeah, okay. had two, a 2 and an 8 in it. 2.58. For, well done, Stacey. Well, if you think so, have you already won it? No. No, all right. I didn't even remember it was a thing. No, okay. Well, let's get it in there. I reckon that one's going to go. Know, it's it's going to go close. Oh. 980. <laughs> it's a problem that can be solved by you I'm catching sorry. bigger ones. Yeah. Thought I might give it a run. Thank you. You got it? Yep. Cool. Thanks. 
Thanks, Dave. All right, next up, Mark Crompton. He has made no secret of the fact that AOY is going to be his this year. You're going to get it. Are you on track, Mark? Good day today? No, nah, not the best day. I've had better days here, that's for sure. But feel, any time you have a bag of brim that feels like, again, just feel how heavy that is. It, that's yeah, good. It, it's a standard measurement weight, but yeah, the, the weight in it is decent. So. All right, so Mark Crompton, let's get him on there. It's going to be four something, isn't it? No, three, five, eight. What was your gun bait today? Uh, crank a crab all day for me. That was pretty much all that caught the fish. So, yeah, good work, mate. Well, there you go. Go Cheers. get those back in the water. Good to see you channeling the sponsor karma. Scott Secluna, next up. Scotty absolutely belted it on day three at St Helens. 3.7 kilos you had for three fish. And what have you done today? Have you kept up the form or what? Yeah, actually went all right. Yeah, with Naughty, it was great fun today. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, in the little Basco there. Yep. I'm just going to get those three on. You need 316 to take the lead. And you're sitting in second place at the moment with 307, mate. I won't ask you what your secret baits were. You'll be secret squirrel about it. <laughs> All right, next up, Tony Robertson. That's it, mate. Tip the water in there. And he is walking those under the ground of the Bell Reeve Yacht Club here. Five fish for us. I'm never in doubt. Maybe. <laughs> Mate, that's a decent bag you got there. What was, yeah. your, what was your gun bag? Gun lure today. I was actually throwing plastics most of the day, so, yeah. All right, let's get them on there for you. Over four kilos, four, two, one, mate. That is a good launching pad for a big killer bag tomorrow and get a paycheck. Camera karma, see? Camera karma, see? Didn't hurt you at all. You're going to be able to watch yourself in a couple of weeks. All right, Kim McIntyre. Tomorrow, mate, drain that water in the tub for us, will you? Not on the grass. But you got five for me, mate? Yep, got five. Go. Never in doubt. Just going to let that water go in there. All right, what do you reckon they're going to go, Kim? Oh, maybe three. Maybe three. I reckon more than that. Easy, 307. There you go, mate. If you've knocked off Joey, mate, that'll be a good day. <laughs> Unlikely. <laughs> All right. Josh Williams next up. Tazzy Local always smashes it. And he's got a lively bag of five brim here. You're a pretty good judge of weight, mate. What do you think this bag's going to go? Four and a half, hopefully. Feels like four and a half. Might be more. Josh, he has. Look at that. Four, seven, two. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Congratulations. That puts you in fifth place. All right. Who we got next? James McKay. Fishing the non boater side. He needed three fish. He caught three fish. On fire, mate. Give us a look at those. Just going to tip the water in there. Who's your fish with today? Um, Some guy? No. Oh. 206 kilos. Good on you, mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. Apologies for the non boaters for giving him these unscripted questions like who they were fishing with. Tip the water in the truck. Tip the water in our. Thank you. Al Lister, always dangerous on the do with this man. Catches the big uns. And you got another good do it bag for us, mate? Uh, bearable. bearable. Oh, this place is unreal, isn't it? Yeah, fish numbers wise, particularly, is out of control. Yeah. Um, tell us how many fish you would have caught today? Oh, look, probably 40 or 50 or something. Oh, crazy number of fish. Let's see if we can get over four kegs for you. Easy. 4.22 for you there, mate. Well done. Go and let them back, go back in the water. Al Lister, 422 puts you in eighth place at the moment. Al Murray next to weigh in. Fishing in one of the smaller boats of the field, but that doesn't stop him catching five fish. Five today. Yes, let me just gonna drain some water out of those. What was your, what was your uh, gun bait today? Atomic. Atomic, what sort of atomic? Uh, little jerk baits. Little jerk baits, all right. Five fish, four, that's a good bag in there, Al. You reckon you got five kegs or what? No, no. I was getting excited. 422, that's a good bag. That's that is amazing. 422 is eighth place at the moment. I didn't think it was anywhere near. And you're tied with Alan Lister. The two owls. All right, Scotty Bryant. Agonising loss at St Helens. 20 grams short he was of the win. His first ABT event. How'd you back it up today, mate? Did you celebrate with another few nice ones? A couple of okay ones. Yeah, All right, so you got three there. They go 2.35, which puts you about ninth, tenth at the moment. So swooping distance for tomorrow. Yeah, good. Thank you. 
Good stuff. All right. All the anglers over there are uh, having a chat to Steve Steer and the crank around of the uh, the Brim Series here. All right. Andrew Lavelle, a.k.a. What's the nickname? Pancakes. Whatever you want. Oh, well, that's what people tell me to call you. One fish for you there. 540 grams. You can, you've got to catch a few big ones to swoop tomorrow, mate. I'm going to have to, aren't I? All right. Thank I'm going to find out what their pancakes means one day too. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> All right, Dallas Blatchford. Dallas has won events before, but when he won an event, it didn't start like this. What happened? Uh, oh, I just couldn't find it today. I just um, no, I don't know what happened. No excuses. No excuses. 530 grams, mate. It's not a donut. Well done. Uh, it's amazing. All right, next up, Peter Nord. That's good. Pete's tipping all that water in there like he needs to. Don't want to leave too much salt water on the grass here at the Yacht Club. And Pete Nord, I think, has become a uh, honorary Tasmanian. He's spent so long here. <laughs> and, mate, you got yourself a decent bag there, it feels like. Yeah, it's not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Mate, your mate Peter Bruckel's leading at the moment at 542. Oh, you, got some, you got something no, to scare him? No, I don't think so. All right, see if we get, we'll get you under four kilos with those fish, I reckon. How about four seven nine? No well done, though. That puts you in third place. Awesome, thank you. Good on you, Pete. Thank you. All right, next up, our winner from the last event, Grant Stingle. Rhymes with Pringle. That's how you say it. No, I get it wrong ever again. And uh, he won over four thousand dollars cash at our last event, mate. Are you in the right? Uh, are you in the right area to uh, to do this again? Uh, not quite. A couple of little fellas in there, unfortunately. I had the fish on, though. I think, uh, yeah, we had a really good bag, to be honest. All right. Still got crank of vibes hanging in there. Still got crank of vibes in their mouth. All right, Grant. Let's see, this is your campaign for another win off to a good start. 3.69. Put you outside the top 10 at the moment. Right. There you go, mate. Your live well works well, though. Those are pretty lively, those fish. And I don't know about you, but this is the best behaved dog in history, isn't it? Someone come up. Who's up? Jesse Glowacki. Okay, good to see Jesse with the fish there. Now Jesse uh, started slow at St Helens and then improved. You're going to start slow here and improve as well, Jess? Yeah, I'm going to try. You will have to get some tips off the old man. He got a decent bag today. He got one fish there, 370 grams. Good, mate, what did that one eat? What lure? Uh, presso. Presso amino. Thanks, Jesse. All right, Gordon Pullins next. Draining that water out of those big three derwent brim, bringing them up. Who's got bragging rights between you and Parco today, Gordon? No, I haven't spoken. I haven't seen Parco either. I have to let you work it out All for right. me. Yeah. Well, you've got three nice ones there, mate. Yeah. So you need 316 to take the lead in the non boater size. But under 2.5. 241 puts you in 10th place at the moment. Well, 241 right, for three. Good now on one you. One of these is 36 centimetres, which might be close to a kilo. Yes, and since throw I them in. That, that thing, yeah, we better get, get to win it. I don't think it'll make a kilo. No, nah, I think it'll be 900, but yeah. anyway. 880. Yeah, but I just I no, no, it's worth a try, mate, because you win some great uh, X braid braid and some line. It'd be nice. Good on you, mate. Well done. All right, next up, Cheggs, Neil Chegwin. <laughs> you finally work out who you fish with. Good work, Cheggs. All right, you've got one, two, three, four, five for me there, mate. And uh, how good's the doing? Yes, mate. It uh, it always shows up, doesn't it? It's good. And even with all the pressure, three point five five for you there. Well done. Thank you, mate. Well on your cheeks. All right. Next angler, whenever you're ready. Michael Alexander will do. Mm, I see some thick nose in there. Don't interrupt me in the way in. All right, Michael. Just, just, just out of the money at uh, St Helens and a tough start at the Derwent. Yeah, as expected. What, what happened? Did the no, no big bites, or did you let them go long distance, or what? No, no big bites, and they just struggled in late in the day. All right, three oh four for you there, mate. Three point oh four kilos. Good on you, Michael. I think Stacey gave you hiding today, mate. Sorry. <laughs> Isaac Harris, tip that water in there, mate. So the story is Isaac Harris is uh, is perpetuating the legend of Adam Creek 
You've got his boat. I assume you're fishing down in his spots that he's fishing, and you bring in some big giants here, right? Yeah, semi. You need semi. That semi. feels good, that one. Yeah, Adam was nice enough to let me fish my own spots this year. Nice. <laughs> if he's watching. You got one, two, three, four, five there, mate. You reckon you got five kegs? Yeah. You need five, four, two to take the lead. And we have a new leader, five, five, seven. Well done, mate. Oh, have you got a, you got a one, one, three in there? You got to have. Because that's all big brim, is it, at the moment? Try the biggest one. I don't expect 113 to last. Now we've got 118 now. Yeah, let's leave that as big brim because someone's going to dog a big one, aren't they? Good on you, mate. Well done. Isaac Harris, new leader. A new Maui Jim big brim leader as well. 557 five, kilos. All right, Louis, bring him up, mate. Tip that water out. Louis Wardini, father of Christian Wardini. Christian will be giving you tips all day today, mate, because he got five and he got two for us. What's going on? Two. Two for you there, mate. And uh, Christian had a good day today, though. Yes. <laughs> Two fish for 930 grams for you there. Thank you, Thank Louis. You. Oh, Steve Steer's getting a bit of a rest at the bump tub there, isn't he? He's been making sure that no undersized fish make it uh, up, to the, up to the scales here. And we're just waiting for the bump tubs to, uh, to recharge at the moment. While we're doing that, let's run through the uh, the top 10 in the boat as Al Lister in 10th, Steve Lampsakianos in 9th, Mitch Blomquist in 8th, Josh Williams in 7th, I'm in 6th, Mario Vukic in 5th, Peter Nord 4th, Wally Fay in 3rd, Peter Bruckel 2nd and Isaac Harris in 1st in the uh, non-boaters. Gordon Pullen, 2.41 kilos you need to be in the top 10 at the moment. John Albrecht in ninth, William Thorpe in eighth, Stacey Alexander seventh, Mark Lennox in sixth, Aaron Bonza in fifth, Michael Samet in fourth, Dave Shanahan third, Scotty Cicluna, three, we've got two bags over three kilos, Scotty Cicluna in second with 307, and Jonathan Fitzgibbon leading the non boater division with three fish for 3.16 kilograms. Might have a break as we're... Uh Waiting for the uh, for the bags to fill up in the bump tubs. We do have Jason Mayberry coming up. Are we making not enough noise for the wedding? Well, it's all good. Okay, they all came out to watch the weigh-in. All right, Jason Mayberry is going to give those fish a bit of a drink. Whenever you're ready, Jace, drain that water out. Steve Steer, naming sponsor of this event. We've got him working the bump tubs, making sure that the uh, the fish are all the right size. Awesome, mate. Jace Mayberry is the uh, previous grand final winner. Won himself a sixty or seventy thousand dollar bass cap boat back in the day. He missed last iteration of the Tassie events, but he is back. And how good is this joint? Yeah, I don't mind it. It's uh, pretty. The fish aren't any bigger though. You caught lots today, like everyone else. Yeah, got a few this morning, but once the tide got high, it just got harder. That's funny because normally guys like a high tide here. Five fish for Jace. Let's get them on there. Five fish weigh 3.85 kegs, mate. Anywhere near the East Coast, that's a great bag. Yeah, no, definitely. Good on you, mate. Cheers. All right, Jojo Gardner. Tip that water out, mate. I don't want you dribbling any on the grass. Undoubtedly WA's best broom angler who travels. How's that? Is that a good modifier? I'll take it. And Jojo, first time fishing the Derwent for you, is this? Yeah, yep. Yeah. How good is it? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, mate. You might have got a good bag there. You reckon you got over five kegs? Nah, four. All right. Pretty yeah, good. Four, four, seven, four. three. They're fatties. Um, have you got one that weighs over uh, one, one, eight? I'll give it a shot. Give it a skinny. shot. Skinnier. He's pretty skinny, though. Unit. What did that big one eat? Strikes. Z Man strikes. One yeah. kilo on the knocker, mate. They're all pretty much the same, mate. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Good on you, Joseph. So Joey Gardner moves into somewhere in the top five or six anglers there with that bag. How are we going time-wise? How many flights have we got in? Final flights are two po uh, eight minutes from being in. All right. 
We have got 30 boats in at the moment with eight boats left to weigh in in the final flight. Uh, we have a, a series of flights, which means that uh, the guys that finish first on the first day finish last on the second day. Uh, it just means that the facilities don't get overwhelmed by our guys all trying to get their key tags on the board at the same time. They started fishing at 9 o'clock this morning and finish at 4 o'clock this afternoon, as late as 4.45 if they're in a later flight. Um, we do that to follow the tides. We like to have that big rising tide cycle in the river here. Funny to hear that some of the anglers didn't like the tides when the, <laughs> when the tide got up. It's like, normally they don't have the low tide. So uh, it's strange how every year it seems to change. Big brim at the moment, Isaac Harris's 1.18 kilo fish. Um, a bit smaller than normally. We normally have a fish of about one and a half kilo leading that. Um, John Fitzgibbons leading the non-boaters, 3.16 kilos. And Isaac Harris is leading the boaters with 5.57 kilos. All right. Um, it says Joseph Gardner needs 840 grams. Bring him up, guys. All right, Evan, what's your last name? Leonard. Leonard, all right. Non boater, first ABT event. Yep. How good is it to catch your limit? Fantastic, that was the aim. What was the uh, gun lure for you today? Oh, the Duo Realis. Nice. The 80 mil one? Yeah. Nice. Jerk baiting. All right. And you caught 2.6 kilos, which is going to put you in seventh place at the moment. Fantastic. Great way to start. Thank you. All right, Pete Maisie. Bring him up, Pete. Whenever you're ready, Pete. <laughs> Someone tell Pete Maisie to bring his fish up. All right, Pete Maisie, your local Tasmanian next angler. Pete came in with a wet sail at St Helens with over five kilos on day two, and it looks like. A wet thick motor. <laughs> and looks like you should have uh, oh, stayed yeah. up there, mate, because the bigger fish are at St Helens. They are much bigger up there. Yeah, they've done me a lot better up there. There's a do and bag, 2.45 kilos That's for you, mate. Disgraceful. <laughs> Not disgraceful. On the Goldie, that is a very solid bag. Whenever you're ready, Mark Street, another Tasmanian local from up at Fingal. He needs 2.44 kilos to get into the top 10 and 3.16 to take the lead. You got a decent bag for me there, mate? Yeah, I got three. Right. What was your gun bait today? Flash minnow. Lucky craft flash minnow. One, two, three. Well, you need 244 two, four to get into the top 10. 277 puts you in sixth place. I'll do. Let's try it. Let's try it. Pull him out for the x braid trophy brim. Let's see if he goes. Nine ninety. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you're just oh, gonna. Lord. You're just gonna have to catch a bigger one tomorrow. Thanks, mate. Good on you, Mark. Things guys will do for a couple of spills of line, eh? Heartbreaker. Jesse Roten next up. Jesse wrote, was it last time we were here you won this event, Jesse? Last time we were here you won it, I think. Oh, I, was, I know you won the last event in St Helens. Yeah, that was really good. That's right. Now, you mightn't have the fish here to do it because there's one smaller one in there. Uh, there's two smaller ones and one nice fish. One proper one. All right. You need 3.16 to tie for the lead. You've got 2.42 kilos, but you're just outside the top 10. Is that a 1.2 kegs, that big one, or what? Nah. All right, we see it. We'll see you later then. We are coming to the last flight of the weigh-in. All right, at the moment you need 5.57 for five fish to be leading the boater division, 3.16 for the three fish for the non-boater division, uh, averaging over a kilo a fish. 
Top 10, you need 4.23 kilos in the boaters and 2.53 in the non-boaters. The Derwent is fishing pretty good. Whenever you're ready, Jeff. Jeff Borg next to weigh in from New South Wales. Came down on the spirit with a lot of the other mainlanders. And he comes to the Derwent because he catches sacks of fish like this with ease. Easy day today? Uh, a little bit difficult. Some of the smaller fish came out to play today. The big yeah. ones didn't? No, big ones were yesterday. Everyone pinged them in the practice, didn't they? Yeah. All right, five fish for Jeff. 2.69 kilos for you there, mate. Well done. Oh, no, thanks, Good on you. Yeah. All right, I see more. Uh, I see more bags coming up the uh, coming up the rails. John Parkinson, bring him up, mate. How many you got, Parco? Uh, Three small ones. I think the doctor might have it on you today. Three squeakers. Three squeakers. All right. One, two, three there. Steezy says they're all good, though, so they are all good. What was your best bait today? Um, a crab. Crank got a crab. Yeah, got a couple of the crabs. Good on you, mate. Well done. Thank you. Oh, did you see where they weighed? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> That's right. How much was it, mate? 147. We'll take 147. <laughs> All right, next up, Craig Doherty. So tomorrow, Craig, tip all that water back in the tub instead of on the ground, please. Two fish for Craig today. And, mate, what was your uh, what was the bait you used to catch those two? Oh, um, I just used the Z-man grub in the blood worm and the jerk bait. One on the jerk bait, one on the bloodworm Z-Man grub. One, three, eight for your two fish there. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. All right, Cameron Cole from Tasmania next to weigh in. You got five for us, Cam? We're live streaming on the camera here too, so if you want to come in here and say hello to someone. Hello, everybody. There you go. Thanks, Nan. All right, one, two, three, four, five fish for you, mate. Uh, but not the size we expect in the do. No, nah, little ones, unfortunately. Two point <laughs> eight one kilos. There we go. Cheers. All right, next up we have Greg Cooper from WA. We going here, Coops? Three fish for you, mate. Yep. Going up. Give us a look here. I'm going to look at. I'm going to make sure there's three. I'm going to tip all the extra water out. And now I'm going to weigh them. What do you reckon they weigh? Um, 2.3. What did you catch them on? Uh, zip bait. They're heavier than you thought. 2.41 for you, mate. And that puts you in about ninth or 10th. Thank you. Good on your keeps. No, I'm not allowed to weigh you. Sorry. Why not? Hosko, come and look after this lady, please. <laughs> Thank you. All good. This is the danger of doing weigh-ins next to weddings. Thank you for your support, gentlemen. You let me cook there, didn't you? <laughs> we have a few more bags coming up. Uh, Nicole, how many anglers have we got left to go? We've got a few gaps in the scorecard there. What about Daz? We've got a few. Six or eight left. I see Martin Evans coming up to the scales. About 10 anglers left. They either haven't weighed a fish yet or are still to weigh in. And just to, uh, recapping, Isaac Harris leading the non -boater, uh, leading the boaters with 5.57 kilos. Uh, in the non-boaters, Jonathan Fitzgibbon leading with 3.16 kilos. Uh, you need 2.53 kilos now to be in the top 10 for the non-boaters and 4.23 kilos to be in the top 10 for the boaters. All right, next up, bring him up. Martin Evans, this is, from Tassie. He was pretty tough because it was about eight degrees this morning. He was didn't even wear a jumper. Did you put a jumper on as you were going up the river or what, Martin? Back up from Ralph's. <laughs> yeah, very nice out there. Nice. 
Uh, one, two, three for you there, mate. Uh, happy days. What do you reckon they're going to weigh? Uh, 2.4. How about 2.89? That puts you in. Tie for third place. Have you got a? Have you won a one kilo broom yet? Let's, I reckon there is one as well. That big unit there. That's a little there, I reckon. Yeah. This is for the x braid Trophy Brim Pack. Easy, 1.15 kilos. That's only 30 grams short of Big Brim at the moment. So you won yourself some x braid gear there. Well done, Martin. Thanks. All right. I can see Cam Widham uh, heading up to the way tubs. We are getting towards the tail end of this, uh, the crank around of the Diver Brim Series weigh-in. We are at the Bell Reeve Yacht Club. If anyone is in Tassie and wants to come down tomorrow, we'll be here at 4 o'clock tomorrow starting the weigh-in again. Uh, and as soon as Cam Whittam has his bag checked there by the uh, by Steve Steer, he gets a thumbs up from Steersy there. Gets a double thumbs up if you caught them all on Cranker Crabs. We'll get Cam Whittam to, uh, to bring those fish up. Drain the water out, mate, in the tub there. All right, Cam Whittam is a veteran of the Derwent River. He was uh, he was fishing this thing back in the days where if you didn't have six kilos, it wasn't even a thing. But nowadays, it's five kilos. That's it. How are you, mate? Uh, good, mate. And what does that feel like? I know your scales are pretty good. What's that way? No, I stuffed up my scales today. Four, six, four, seven, four, six. All right. There four, we go. Five, I don't know. I reckon it's going more than that. No, four, six, nine. You're always a machine, mate. A machine. No, no, I, I stuffed it up. I, I had myself in all knots. <laughs> anyway. Have you got a uh, have you got a one one eight there? Oh, I might have. There is no bigger than one one eight in the big brim yet. They're all skinny though, aren't they? Those yeah, river fish. One oh seven. Nah, no. I reckon so, eh? No. Good on you, mate. No. Cam Widham from Victoria. One of our last anglers to win. Is there anyone else to go, Cam? All right, go get a photo and let those ones go. I see one bag coming up. All right. Cole Wilson's coming up here. Tell Cole to take it easy. We don't want any accidents. All right, Cole Wilson is fishing in the non-boater side. We're still waiting for uh, Angler of the Year leader Mark Healy to weigh in as well. Bring him on up. I think you yeah, go for it. Look at that happy doggo now. All right, Cole Wilson, fishing in the non-boater side, for looking for your biggest three fish, mate, and you got three for us. Yes. Tough day on the water or a great day? Oh, yeah, just one good one, a couple of little. What did the, what did the big one eat? Oh, shivers. Um, you got me beaten out through that many things. Okay, um, 1.82 for your three. It'll be plastic, yeah. A plastic, that's all right. Don't have to tell me it all on day one, mate. Keep the secrets till day two, thank you. 1.82, that was. And still waiting for Mark Hill. It's right, you can do a walkthrough. Everyone loves to see a dog on a live stream. So we are nearly wrapped up now. We've got Mark Healy to see yet, haven't we? He's got to come up. But I think otherwise the anglers are kicking back, telling stories of the ones that got away. Looking at the leaders, John O. Fitzgibbon in the non-boaters with three, one, six. Isaac Harris in the boaters with five, five, seven. We've seen three bags over five kilos in the boaters and uh, two bags over three kilos in the non-boaters. So they're the ones that give you over one kilo average per fish. Why don't we get Steersy up for a word? Hey, Steersy. Stephen, come up and have a word, mate. The uh, the business has dried up a little bit at the at the bump tubs there, but uh, 
We do have a couple of angles left to weigh in, but uh, Steersy, you were pretty much spot on, mate. The guys that have got the bigger bites today, just those one or two real big fish are the ones that are sitting up the top of the leaderboard there. 5.57, five, does that meet your expectations of what it's going to take to lead this thing? Yeah, I expect it about 5.5, five, so that's a good bag. Um, you know, I think that's going to be hard to beat if you can back it up tomorrow. So, right. and, that, and that's what the thing is in this joint. I saw last time we were here, some of the guys that did well on day one fell on day two and, and vice versa. We've got another calm, clear day tomorrow, mate. What's that going to do to the fishing? Make it harder? Uh, most definitely. Until this afternoon breeze kicks in, I think you're going to be doing it tough. So. And that breeze kicked in today. Uh, in the river was funny. It blew in the river uh, pretty early, about 10 o'clock, but then down at Ralph's Bay, it was still flat as hell at 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I was watching you live <laughs> most of the day. So it was flat. How flat it was, yeah, no, she was dead flat calm. So Great to see a lot of guys uh, catching fish on the crank of jerk baits, the crank baits and the crabs through this event. Uh, people channeling the sponsor Karma. Yeah, it's great to see. I'm, I'm just stoked to see these boys supporting the brand. So it means the world to us, and uh, thank you very much to everyone. Did you see on the live stream where I threw the crab under the dock and it never came back? I seen your first cast with an <laughs> olive crab get zipped up. Yes, I did. Yeah, well, go, <laughs> it's a funny day, this this river. If any technique you want to fish, you can fish in here. Yeah. We started on jerk baits, we ended up on crabs, and uh, it's, I think you've got a wonderful resource all around this place. And that, that Ralph's Bay, mate, if you... The brim in there, that's that's a world-class fishery down there, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's exceptional. And you get it on a good day and it's off its, it turns off off its tree, yeah. Awesome, mate. Well, I appreciate that. Go and check Mr Healy's bag and we're going to send him up. He might be the last angler to weigh in. Steve Steer from Cranker Lures, the naming sponsor of this round of the Daiwa Brim Series. You're the last one to bait, way, Mark? No worries. All right. So I hope he's bringing in a big six kilo bag to drop on the scales at the end to create some drama. The suspense. I want you to drop six kilos on, mate, because you just wait till the last minute and you come and do the mic drop. <laughs> Mr. Healy, you came down here after smashing it in both of the Victorian events. Um, how did you find the doing? Yeah, um, I, I guess it suits my style of fishing a bit more than St. Helens. So um, much more enjoyable today. Didn't get the big bites I was after. Um, well, actually, I, I did get two, but <laughs> left, them out, left them out there. So Awesome. And you've got uh, five average size fish there, mate. Should be well over four kilos. Uh, hopefully, yeah. It's funny when your four kilos isn't real good. So 4.4 doesn't put you in the top ten. How good is this joint fish? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> awesome, mate. Have you, got a, uh, have you got a 118 in there? You haven't got a real big one? No, no, I wouldn't think so. All right, mate, we'll go let that one, those ones go. And we might uh, wrap up that live stream part of the way in. If we can find any more anglers, we will weigh them. But we're going to cut the live stream there. Be back to you at 4 o'clock, Tasmanian time, tomorrow afternoon.